All right, so we are now looking at this question called capacitors in a series in it they gave us this diagram and you see three capacitors with their charges c 2 c 3 c their individual um, things are labeled one through six we see a single charge labeled with a plus q we have a voltage and then it tells us that the applied voltage is delta v and the charge on plate one is q so it goes ahead and says that again part a is what are the charges on plates three and six First thing to remember that is in a series, all charges are equal. So in series, charge is equal. So you're going to see that the charge plates 1, 2, or 1, 3, and 5 are going to be plus Q, while 2, 4, and 6 are going to be negative Q because each capacitor has to have a net of 0. So 3 is going to be plus Q, and 6 is going to be negative Q. Part B actually does have some math that you have to do, and it is if the voltage across the first capacitor is delta V1, what are the voltages against the second and third capacitor? So we're going to go ahead and remember this equation of Q equals CV. And they told us that C, or voltage across the first one is 1, so Q equals CV1. Now for Remember, charge is equal, so we still have a charge of Q at second capacitor, but instead of just being C, we have 2C across voltage 2, so that CV1 is equal to 2CV2, since they are both equal to Q right here. The Cs can go ahead and cancel out, and you get that V2 is equal to half of V1 which is this first part of your equation, and if you do the math, the exact same thing, CV1 equals 3CV3, V3 equals 1 third V1, to do the exact same thing for part B. Now part C is a whole nother thing. So this one's asking us to find the voltage, what is delta V1 equal to? So we know that in series, delta V is equal to delta V1 plus one half delta V1 plus one third delta V1. And this is actually equal to delta V1 plus delta V2 plus delta V3. But we, of course, already found what V2 and 3 are right here. So we go, we'll go and replace them and then just simplify this down to delta V1 is equal to 6 delta V over 11. All right, so 6 delta V over 11, that is your part C answer. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to look at D. So D is to find the charge Q on the first capacitor. So Q, as we said earlier, the equation for Q is just CV. So on the first capacitor, and that's the whole thing because charge is equal across the entire series. So this is the charge on the first capacitor, but also all the other capacitors, part D. Now that we move on to part E, using this value of Q, find the equivalent capacitance for the combination, or combination of capacitors in a series. So what you need to know is the equation for CQ in a series is 1 over C plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3, which in this case, it, are valued at 2C and 3C. Now you have to go ahead and use some nice common denominators that everyone always loves. So you get 11 over 6C, and then you go ahead and invert both of those, and you get 6C over 11 is what CEQ is equal to, your equivalent capacitor, and that is your answer for you. So that's the whole thing, there are the answers again.